All right, Spirit Radio Dance Style Show 6. I think, yeah, we're Show 6 now. I uh, got some great feedback, and uh, I'm going to try my best to t- keep most of that in, in, in mind. <laughs> uh, anywho, we, uh, the next show, this one, I should say, called Staying Positive, or as the friend of mine that brought it to my attention, she's fighting to stay positive. And I think um, both are kind of well said. Um, I, don't, I just don't like the idea of fighting. I, I think that's kind of the wrong mindset towards... Uh, trying to solve this issue. Um, Certainly something that I've been guilty of numerous times in my life, so I'm very, very versed in, in one, what it's like to not be positive, but two, trying to get myself out of a negative spiral when that occurs. Uh, And it it certainly has happened, like I said, numerous times. In fact, I, uh, on a couple different occasions in my life, I've been actually probably clinically depressed, suicidal for sure, um, and managed to spin myself out of it. Um, and I think most people, I, I heard this somewhere, most people that are suicidal don't actually want to kill themselves. They uh, they actually want the pain to stop. Oh, yeah, I heard that at a book signing thing about a little over a week ago. And, and I think that's very true. They, they don't want to die. They just want the pain to stop. So, anywho, uh, I, I think they're all interrelated. So, just to kind of uh, cover some maybe old material here, what is positive? Uh, kind of want to cover the grounds of positive. Um what a lot of people do to say positive things is they use words like not or NT, you know, don't or uh, can't or whatever. Any sort of negative. They try to take a negative thought concept and put a not or don't or can't or something strange in there to somehow make it positive. That is not positive. That's negative. That's a negative thought. Putting can't and don't, the universe doesn't care. Your consciousness doesn't care. Your higher self doesn't care. You're still focused on a negative outcome, and you're trying to make it positive by putting a negative word in there. And unfortunately, uh, it, two negatives don't make a positive. They, they do in grammar. They don't in real life. So how to stay positive is focusing on what you would like to experience. A lot of people just seem to have a hard time with this. It's, it's very simple. Um, the example I like to use frequently, and I'll hopefully come up with a couple others, but staying healthy. As I just put it, staying healthy. I am going to stay healthy. I'm amidst people that are sick and my immune system is going to keep me healthy. I am going to be healthy. I am healthy. I'm staying healthy. A lot of people say, I don't want to get sick. I don't want to be sick because I'll miss where I don't. Again, you're focusing on what you don't want. Focus on what you do want. This is uh, is seriously key to the whole staying positive concept. You have to actually know what positive is And to be able to maintain that requires that you just really simply catch yourself when you're being negative. A lot of people can maybe get frustrated with themselves when they say, um, I always hit red lights. Okay, well, catch yourself right after you say that and you say, oh my God, the lights are always green when I get to them. Just replace it with a positive. Catching it is the first step. Replacing it is how you make it better. And after practice, you actually manage to be positive most of the time. It, it really is truly, unfortunately, that simple. So work on catching yourself when you're being negative because most of us, including myself, and I've been practicing this for a long time, will fall into patterns of being negative, thinking negatively, uh, and, and kind of you know keeping your, keeping your thoughts focused where you'd like to experience things, not where they are at uh, or where you don't want them to be, right? to use a negative on the, in the same concept. Um, another thing to kind of keep in mind is where are our thoughts? Where, where are we keeping them? Are we in the past? Are we thinking about things in the past? And that's why we're bummed or staying negative or fighting to stay positive is because there's negative things that we keep focusing on that happened months, years, whatever ago. Are we focusing on the future? We're so worried about tomorrow and what's going on tomorrow that we're not even paying attention to right now, that we're focusing these negative thoughts or, or non-positive thoughts, if you will, on uh, staying down the road. A good example, this friend of mine that's, uh, that's um, you know, looking to, to get out of her unhealthy marriage. Um, and I think sometimes she stays focused on the future. Like, I really wish I was there. I wish I was, we were separated already. I wish I was already away from this guy. Those are thoughts that are going to kind of keep you in sort of a negative spiral because, again, you're focusing, yes, on what you would like to experience, but you're not in the now. You're not in the present moment. You're not essentially thankful for what is happening right now or what you do have right now. Good example for me. I'll use this. There's 
definitely a couple people that I am very super fond of in my world right now. I care a great deal about these two ladies. Um, and I don't know if either one of them are ever going to pan out to anything. Like, I seriously don't. I, I, I care about them both. They're two totally different people. One of them's completely unavailable. The other is uh, mostly unavailable, um, just in different ways. Um, and again, whether it's just me being in their lives and making a difference in their lives, maybe that's all it ever, ever is going to be. But again, it's you hear my negative, right? Because I, I don't really know what it is. So here's where I catch myself. Instead of focusing on what I don't have, which is kind of where I spin out of control on this, I, I focus on what's going right in my life. And frankly, there's a lot of really great things that are going on in my life. Recently started a new job, got this potential voiceover thing kind of uh, coming into my lap here, doing this YouTube stuff, getting some decent feedback on it. Um, you know, family's going well. I, a lot of things are going well in my life. So stay focused on what's happening right now and get off of the what I don't have. And really, that's kind of key to the whole, one, manifesting, you know, which we've talked about in other shows as well. But it's it's really to keep you in the moment, to keep you focused on what's going on right now. Right now is the only place you will ever get any sort of feedback, any sort of help, any sort of signs, symbols, uh, anything along those lines to give you an idea of what's your next step. So again, as we've talked in the manifesting uh, 101 uh, video, uh, call it a video, audio, whatever, YouTube. Um, you focus on what you would like to accomplish, and then you sort of look for the signs to kind of show you the way. Or as the last show I did, f uh, show five, let the universe show you. Let it be shown to you through symbols, signs, uh, feelings, inspirations, um, songs, something some weird random person says. Any number of weird, crazy things will actually happen to make that occur. And it's very groovy when it happens, you know. It's um, it's super cool, and uh, it's just kind of how you find your way. And, and in all honesty, once you've experienced a few of these present moment situations, you actually find uh, it's easier to stay in the present or, or to at least put yourself back in the present because you realize there's certain things that are going to be shown to you in the now, and that's how you're going to find your way. So again, it's good. Have a blueprint. Know what this destination is that you've got in mind. And then understand that the journey is where you're going to be at. And the journey is really where and how you're going to stay positive. You're going to focus on what's going well right now. Uh, in the case of this friend of mine, uh, you know, stay focused on the, the, the steps that are being made currently. Uh, if you're going through another a situation that's similar, stay focused on what's working right now. What steps are happening right now? Again, journey of a thousand miles, right? The destination's a thousand miles away. Each step is one step closer to your destination. Stay focused on the steps. The steps are where it is all at. So if you're not in the present, you're going to uh, kind of... Oh, yeah, there you go. I, I made notes for myself, trying to keep myself on track, and then the notes don't make sense, right? That's kind of how it works for me. Here I am sidetracking again. Um, but it's uh, if you don't like your current present, then that's how you focus on a new one. You come, you come up with um, a destination that you'd like to choose instead, uh, experiences that you'd like to have instead, and you focus on those. You make those known. You make uh, any steps you can. Again, um, manifesting what you think, what you say, what you do. So you think new thoughts. You think a new reality, you think a new possibility. Uh, if you're in a bad relationship, in a bad job, and anything, think of a new job. Think of doing something different. Think of enjoying yourself. Think of waking up every morning happy. Um, have thoughts that maybe aren't necessarily in the now per se, but they're thoughts that are helping focus. Uh, let the universe know, for example, what you would like to experience, really, truly your higher self. To let your higher self know what you would like to experience. So you focus on those things. You talk about them maybe with a friend, maybe with uh, maybe yourself. Heck, I, I talk to myself all the freaking time. Um, had a discussion with someone recently about, uh, like, you know, whether we're ever alone technically. And, I, and I, my answer was no. Even when I'm completely by myself, I'm never alone. Talk to yourself if you need to. It's a way to hear yourself say things, and a lot of times you'll hear it and you go, oh, and it just dawns on you. It's, it's like if you're reading something that you've typed. If you read it out loud, you'll catch the grammatical errors. You'll catch the funkinesses by reading it out loud because your ears will hear it and go, ooh, that doesn't sound right. 
That's how it's just saying it and keeping it out loud is a great way to help make it happen, to manifest it. And then what you do. So you want to get in a new situation, new relationship. Maybe uh, get online and look up lawyers, divorce lawyers. Just maybe make a phone call and say, hey, how much would it cost for now of your time? Not that you're necessarily going to go and talk to that individual, but at least you're looking into it. At least you know when the time comes. You might need to spend an hour of time. This is what it's going to cost you, whether you got to you know, finagle some money in that direction. If you're not happy with your job, start working on your resume. Get your resume up to date. Uh, like I've said in other shows, maybe go out and buy yourself a, a pair of clothes or something decent that you can interview in when you're uh, ready to start going on the next round. If you're looking for a new relationship, then kind of get your stuff together. Maybe you've got some loose ends going on in your life. Maybe you got to clean up around the house a little bit so you can actually have somebody over. Great example to myself, frankly, right? Like if your kitchen's a mess, well, clean up your kitchen. And that way, you know, if by chance someone calls and says, hey, Dan, I want to come over. Oh, yeah, totally. I don't need uh, like eight hours notice so I can like, you know, steam clean my place and take a pressure washer to it. You know, it's uh, it's a lot easier that way. So again, what we think, what we say, what we do, all of this stuff ties together. Staying positive is keeping your thoughts in a positive direction, keeping your thoughts in the now, um, and really just trying to uh, keep your focus where it should be. Um, That's really a a big trick for a lot of people, but frankly, that is going to help get you to the positive place. So if you feel like you're fighting it, first off, stop saying I'm fighting being positive or fighting to be positive. Because fighting implies that there needs to be some sort of struggle. And for that struggle to exist, for you to be able to fight, something's got to be causing that, right? So instead, just say, I am positive. Things are working out. Every step is happening. Yes, there's some speed bumps. Yes, there's some lessons to be learned along the way. Life is not going to be easy by any stretch. We are going to have lessons to learn. That is part of the journey. I mean, there's no way to avoid that. So if that's your intention, we've got to do a whole different show on the whole concept of, of polarities because essentially it is what it is, and trying to constantly live life in the positive means that you have to experience negatives to balance that out rather than it is what it is, and life is just full of wonderful moments of living. That's really how it is. You've just got to change the way you look at it Stop deciding things are good or bad. Things are exactly as they should be and are taking us in the direction that we are meant to go. Let it happen. Stop fighting it. Stop focusing on things that aren't really germane right now, that aren't part of the uh, path, part of the plan, aren't important. Stop. Stay where you are. Stay focused. Stay centered. You'll get there. I promise you. This has been another Spirit Radio dance style. thought I'd try to shorten this up a little bit. I probably could have yammered on for two more minutes, but I can't frankly think of anything else to say. So we're going to tie it out. If you guys like what I'm doing, please subscribe. Uh, I actually see um, I see that there's some analytics and stuff that YouTube does, so it's kind of groovy. So I get to see some of it. I see average you know, time people are listening. There's a lot of cool little metrics and stuff. That, so I kind of get an idea of what's going on. Um, put comments, put thumbs up, thumbs down. If you don't like what I'm doing, you know, I, I'm okay with hearing that too. But, you know, it's not going to stop me. I frankly, I love doing this. This is me getting back. Like I said, the voiceover thing that I'm trying to get into. This is just practice. This is me just doing it. So it's all coming together. Um, I just hope I'm making a difference. That's all. So spirit radio dance style, tell your friends, share it with your family, share it with anyone you think might like this stuff. Um, and, uh, for the most part, I'll try to keep it clean. I do cuss occasionally and I apologize in advance, but it will happen. So again, spirit radio, Dan style. Thank you all for joining me on show number six, staying positive. It's a very important step. We'll, uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.